we switch over to the next topic of unit number 4 the development of surfaces ok so the development of surfaces the meaning that the development is something say you consider uh, a box I can say a, you know a rectangular biscuit box okay, keep in mind the wrapper or the cover of the box if you open it I can say that exactly when you open it and place it in a normal I mean a floor or a table you can see the edges or the total shape of the box in that paper do you agree what I mean to say in a, uh, the biscuit box will be a cover in the top I mean to say a rectangular box I can take an example of a cube also or a square prism also a rectangular biscuit box is nothing but a square prism a front, front view is a square and back side is also square side you have faces ok when you open the top paper suppose you have front side back side and uh, all four uh, faces also see that particular shape is called development of that or the surface I can say one more example I will give you uh, you consider any object we will be making a cover, cover for that ok even you purchase anything from a shop there will be a cover cover means the cover is been developed according to the shape and size of the particular product or the object right now if I want to say an, take a proper example in that if I see I just draw a shape of a this is your square prism what is the front view I will take this is P is Q it's R S ok and write T it's a prism so you have a dense size also T S T U I can write uh, U V and W ok this is your what view top view when do you will be length of this some length it is ok so you draw this is your uh, T will be known T dash W will be hidden and uh, P top view this P and S dash P dash ok then it is Q and R so U is seen V is um, w V U is on V is ok U is V dash is inside and R dash and Q dash ok that's it now this is actually what we draw for a just a square prism so it's top view is a square and front view it looks like a rectangle with some height there ok this height may be something if this square prism is being folded by a paper in the sense you have the front face back face all four one two uh, one two three four side faces how does it look like in a developed sketch ok now what will I do this will be the first thing I can if you are unfolding it comes every line so the P Q R S say suppose I can say I draw a line like this like this now I am not indicating any dimensions here keep it in mind ok just telling how does it look like ok so your P and S P Q R S you will be again double U V W and T ok this will be first line P and S I this will be again P and S here R and W P e and W R R and uh, 
W test, Q test, something like this. What I mean to say, the covered portion, I mean this edge is UV and WT, they been opposite side, right? And PQRS is in the other side. It is whatever the UV, you can take yeah, your UV and WT is in the hidden side, so show it down. And PQRS in the top side, this one. What is this portion here now? This P, this will be actually you no know, Q. Q and uh, it should be R. Huh? Q R, okay. Yes. Right? So this will be P Q U R. So the folding portion will be like this, and this will also fold. Then P and S, again last also P and S because the joining portion is the same. This paper has been, it's like a box, it is folded to top view, and this also fold one face, and that will come in the top face. Very simple example, I can take the duster. If I have a paper, I can fold it. Just fold it and so. So this is your PQRS, this will be UV, WT. This is one side, the other side, this is on top. When you open it, this is called the development, developed surface. So this is the idea behind this development of any surfaces. And the application of this, it is very vast using something called sheet metals. Sheet metals, and I can say uh, it, it's a very thin type of sheet metals, sheets, which is easily foldable or you can say easily it can be bent to any required shapes and uh, the application may be to you know with the boiler shapes and the ship building process there an aeroplane you know some parts of this construction all these works they go for development of surfaces so many even you know, household things I you know tray the you carry tea or coffee the, the tray is also an example of a development surfaces or the funnel you know you pour oil or um, something in the household, uh, your funnel is also development surfaces. It's very simple ideas. And that you have large uh, applications also. So the purpose is to show the proper shape of the body. Okay? Using a sheet metal. It may say a thin foldable because we here we cannot uh, in development, we cannot go for a uh, particular material which is, you know, got a very big thickness. Which is because in folding, it is not possible for folding those materials. You have to come on a lot of uh, uh, process in that. So, normally sheet metals are used for this purpose, development of surfaces. So, this is your supposed square prism. Like that, you go for hexagon, pentagon, whatever it is. See, one, two, three, only four sides. One, two, three, four. Square, it's four sides. With top cover and bottom cover. Can you get me? This is... It's a square prism. Say, suppose you remember, you know, imagine this is a square. One, I mean, one, two, three, four, four faces. This top cover and bottom. That's it. So, like this, every shape, your hexagon, pentagon, prism, whatever it is, you can go for a development like this. So, all these sketches is bound to it. You should see that. Again, we go for the previous uh, very important point wherein your front and top view is very, very important. By understanding the question, you have to draw the front view and top view without mistakes. Then only go for them. the dimensions, you know, the required length, breadth, all this uh, will be given. And there are some one or two few formulas for when you go for a cone, how to develop, uh, develop a cone, you need to know the angle. You know? Say for example, cone is like this. You should know what is this angle. This angle will be given. Okay, or you need, need to remember or uh, understand one or two small formulas, so that you substitute the values and develop it. So the purpose is to draw the shape just by, remember, you know, thinking in where you have a cover suppose for any body, particular shape will be shown as a development. Okay? Right. Fine. Now, uh, we have seen uh, about the development of a simple uh, square prism, I told, like a biscuit box and the paper which is uh, I mean, the, which is surrounded all of the faces and the sides. If you open it and place it in a table or a uh, plain surface and see that, that is called the development of particular shape. 
Now, like that, that is a square prism. So, as we studied from the beginning of the second derivative, like that, there are many things like uh, what is this, uh, this cube, in this one I am triangular prism, and this I have hexagonal prism, and a cylinder. Basically, you take about any unit under uh, your engineering graphics, the questions will be posted, I mean it will be asked specifically in three or four topics, it is compulsory, it will become. You have a lot of questions in that, but you take a prism or a cylinder or a you know pyramid, you know, which we, are, we have discussed in uh, unit number three, section of solids when I taught you. So those things it, we have to concentrate more and apart from these you can study other questions also. Why I mean to say this? Because in general any question, any one of the question may be under either your maybe prism or cylinder or cube like that. That is a general idea and you have to concentrate in that way and study the remaining portions also. Don't leave anything, don't omit anything. So now here, uh, this lateral, I am just uh, showing this sketch because this is a cube, we know what is the size of six sides as a cube, it is just a box. In that box if you open what will you have? How many is this? So this here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is all the four sides cover and top and bottom. So you will call it by different name. This is called ends because it will either be a top a cover or a bottom. Top edge or bottom edge will, it will be the end portion. It is called cover. Sides are called lateral sides. So this is how a development of a cube will look like. See the question will be given the particular length, I mean, um, I can say the base value or a height value, then all, that is all same as such we have studied in previous units. Only thing what we are doing in development is, we are drawing the outermost portions with required data exactly, right. So here and all it will only the length and breadth is the consideration and we have to know that the top cover should be also be written. We cannot draw it early, everything in the horizontal phase, you need something in the top and bottom also for a cube. Then you go to cylinder. So you see a normal front view, the cylinder. Top view will be a circuit. Yeah, that is the. You will be obviously drawing the first top and first front views without uh, making any mistakes for any questions. It is very, very important because uh, I hope I already told you any university question paper, uh, university question, uh, they will award you. I mean, uh, uh, at, uh, when, the, uh, when the question has been valued, you will be given marks for first top and front views around say uh, I can tell some a, a minimum of 8 to 10 marks will be given if you draw a perfect front and top views. This point you have to keep it in mind, do not forget. That 10 marks is very important because if you draw a proper front and top view by understanding the question only, you can proceed to the next step. That is very important. So in that way, like this is a cylinder, you see a front view that you already know and top view also. Now development will be how? So why I am showing a rectangle here? In the front view it looks like this. When you join these two corners, it will come around. Then top will be again a circle and bottom also a circle. That is how a cylinder looks. So this is a development. See what is the diameter of the circle? What is the height of this, uh, I mean this rectangle? And how many you know divisions we may divide eight or uh, ten or twelve as we wish. So higher the number of divisions, we get smooth curves. Okay, by finishing it, all this we know will be given. So idea is this much is the development of a cylinder, and this will be the development of the cube. And when you come to this one, this is a triangular prism. A prism, how does it look like? You see, I have just drawn a sketch. This is a triangular prism, bottom on top of same. Okay. I can draw a line a little like this and show that it is better to you. Okay, this is the So height is this and the shape is this. This side, this side may be A, maybe it is 40 millimeter, 30 millimeter. So our development, what do you do? It is triangular prism. Triangle is only three sides. So one, two, three only. Right? The three angle, I mean the one is base, the two sides, suppose. Just it. And maybe you are a top and uh, covers us. This is the third end portion. And this is called lateral sides. Okay, then this is your uh, hexagonal prism. Again, six sides here: one, two, three, four, five, and six sides. Apart from the six, you have top cover also. Right. So this is how. It's all I am talking about prism, a cylinder only. 
So the output, I mean the end sketch will be in these shapes for this particular object, it is a cube or this. And for this development, the values, the numbers or a circle for a diameter or if it is a, <coughs> I mean the front view, it is a rectangle means its length or all this. See one more I have written here, for when you draw about a cylinder, if you may, the length of this particular rectangle, I mean the open area is given as pi into d. What is pi here? Pi is circumference of the circle. Okay. Is it pi or 2 pi? What is 2 pi and pi? That you should know. So pi into d, diameter d. The pi value and it the diameter, given diameter, it becomes the outer length. Total circumference is only 2 pi. But you are drawing only one half. When it is open, only is one half it is, one rectangle. So it is pi into d. This is for a cylinder, a circular one. And like this, when you go for a cone, you will be given a separate value for uh, this, I mean, angle, the theta, will be calculated by some other formulas. So this is how you go for different problems in development. So these basics, if you could understand, a cube means the development should be like this. You will not make mistakes. One thing is the dimension is properly, you have to draw it without any mistake, as per the given dimension. Or maybe in the circle, I mean, cylinder is the diameter, or this values of pi into d or anything like this prism and hexagonal triangle prism, and prism, the value should be properly drawn without any mistakes. So this will be answered. Like this you have cone and what else you have? The main thing is your uh, question will be based on your prism, circle, say pyramid and cone zone. Okay, that we will see one or two problems and we will understand. The output will be like this, fine. Right?